I'm the style and grooming director of British GQ. Um, and my job is to glean all the kind of grooming and style trends that I see, to try all the products and services and treatments, uh, as many as I can, um, to kind of distill in an interesting, lively, exciting way uh, for a reader what, what those are. Uh, personally, in a grooming product, I like something that does what it says on the tin, that is value for money, feels nice in the skin, smells good, uh, and I guess what's the final thing? Uh, looks good in the bathroom shelf. That's, oh, that's, that's key. That's a good one, How about you? Actually, yeah. what's, what, what do you look probably, for? Probably the same, but I think you know a product that definitely works, that does what it promised to do, and then you know like something that um, is multifunctional, I guess. I want to buy my partner some products. What's the best one to start with? That's quite a general question, but okay. Uh, it's a general question. Yeah. I would say if the guy, as many guys, doesn't use anything, mm -hmm. I would probably say a moisturiser. And the reason yeah. why is because the moisturiser is, I think, is one of uh, you know the, 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 I guess, stepping stone to your routine, right? Of course, it's, um, like a, it's a cornerstone, isn't it, really? But also, I think what's good about moisturiser, especially if he's a stubborn guy, that doesn't use anything, mm. right? Then I think the moisturizer will, will kind of show him that he needs to use and he needs to start looking after his skin. Agreed. Because you almost feel, you know, if, if he uses, for example, a super energizer, mm. he will actually see that the caffeine will work pretty much straight away and it will wake in the skin. Have we got, um, have we got some? Should we, yes, should we give it a go? I want to see yeah. if my skin wakes up a so, little bit. Um, in our survey, funnily enough, I think it was moisturizer that was the second most popular thing that men cannot live without. Yeah. Which is quite a bold, bold statement for a grooming product, yeah, right? Exactly. I think shaving was another one because obviously people have to shave, but men have to shave. But once um, you start using a moisturizer, you yeah. can't stop. I know. If I, you know <laughs> because it, it, it's see amazing. my bathroom. How am I looking, God? You looked amazing, but you look <laughs> even more amazing <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> um, but can you do, do you agree that it feels Definitely. very very light? I, li I, I actually really like the fact that it's not fragranced as well. Mm. Um, Okay, so it was going straight no, so in I would definitely go for, for a moisturiser. Um, and I think the texture is amazing because yeah. it's got an SPF it's 40, but you actually don't feel the SPF. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm actually quite scared when I try something with SPF because it's normally quite, you know, it's thick. And you can get it stuck in your beard. Yeah, well, can't so it? this one is actually quite easy to absorb. It's oil free as well, which is actually good because as, as men, we produce twice more oil as other people. So it's amazing. So is the moisturiser similar to Moisture Surge? It is. I think it offers um, 12 hours protection, um, hydration. Um, um, I think there's a lot built into this moisturiser. Mm. I said, you know, it defends and corrects the sign of ageing. Um, yeah, go on, man. <laughs> Um, Moisture Surge, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's an amazing um, product. It doesn't have the SPF. Mm. So I right. think that is, and it's also more of a gel texture. So, th so there's kind of something for everyone in both families, yes, right? Yes, yes, okay. definitely. Yeah, just out of interest, what do you find men are more eager or willing to use? Is it kind of a tub? Because I actually quite like a tub, because you can kind of me measure what you're getting. Or are they, do they prefer a pump? Like, is there a... It's interesting. I yeah. think guys prefer a pump. I think they do. And I'll tell you yeah. why. So, uh, when I take this home, mm. right, my partner will go like, one, two, three. And if I bring a tub, it'd be like this. That's true. And that is, you know, that is another thing about our products. So you actually need very, very little because the product is I've very good. I've put way too much on my hands. No, actually, yes. <laughs> <laughs> but then you end up with the situation where you have a lot of products. I've got very so sun-protected hands it's, now. Though. You know, it's, it's, um, it's crazy. But going back to the actual the range, mm. you know, I think also what is important, I was kind of thorn because I think it's important to moisturise. And I think now, as you said, you know, a lot of people find that moisturizers are part of the routine and it's, it's very, very important. But I think it's also important considering that the second concern for a guy is shaving and yes, shaving trauma. For sure. um, I think it's also to exfoliate. And that's why we actually developed the second product in the range is actually um, a, a powder cleanser. You can use it as a cleanser. Yeah. So you can use it as a, as a normal cleanser and it will foam and it will create a, a, a really nice cushioning. Right. And by cushioning, I mean, it will help you shaving because you ah, create see, okay. that sort of, you know. Um, but also, you can use it as an exfoliator because it's a paste. So you can turn it into an exfoliating paste. I'm not going to do it in here because we're going to get all dirty. <laughs> <and> <laughs> um, but um, it's, 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 it's amazing because um, it's detoxifying because we put kaolin in it, which is actually a clay. Right. But also it's got salicylic acid. And salicylic right. acid is a natural exfoliator where, you know, you can find it also in aspirins and everyone that helps the turnover of cells. Is that, is that the 
same kind of thing as you'd get in a peel, like a light peel. Yeah, some peels yeah. will have yeah salicylic acid, and it will kind of also help the cells to to renew themselves. So you can use it again, you know, as a, as a paste, and you exfoliate, uh, or you can use it as a cleanser. But the, I guess the pro about using it as a as a paste mm. is the fact that you know it will also lift your hair. Yes, of course. Okay. So when you actually go and shave, your hair will be lifted, which means that you get a more closed shave, but right. you also Eventually, long term, you avoid, you know, razor nicks. Um, you you avoid um, uh, ingrown hair. Mm. Um, so when when I talk to a guy, I always say, you know, lift lift the neck up, and they always have like little spots in I here. Know. And I, mean, you know, I don't even concerned. shave, and I get those. <laughs> yeah, because I think you know, do you, ex you, you must exfoliate. I do exactly. Yeah. I do. I do. Um, Increasingly, as I've turned over thirty, but you know, <laughs> it's kind of before that. <laughs> The good thing about the new launch as well is also oil free, so you're not kind of adding oil to your oil. Um, so I would say you can actually have an oil control moisturiser or you can actually go for uh, a water based uh, moisturiser which doesn't have oil. Do you ever use those? Um, I've got friends who use those kind of paper pat things, you know, that soaks yeah. up, that soak up the Are they any good or are they? Um, good? I like those. I think it's a, it's a, it's a sort of short term, yes. you know, uh, remedy for me. But it, it works, it works down there. If you have to go to a meeting, it works. But, you know, for example, if you use, you know, a charcoal face wash from the range or if you use an oil control cleanser, you actually, it's products that they will work straight away, but they will also work long term in terms of making sure that the oil production is controlled. It's important too, I guess, for, for men, particularly men, because I, as we're saying, men are re-engaging with this kind of, or first time engaging with this new kind of idea of being groomed properly, to learn what your skin type is. Because mm -hmm. I've only realised that in a couple of, within a couple of years, I get dry here, mm -hmm. kind of oily here, and you need to know that in order to know what products yeah. um, you should be using. So, can you give any advice for people to kind of figure out what their skin types are? How do you how do you do? I it? think definitely come to store and have a consultation, right. and don't be scared just because you're a guy. Um, and these days, you know, a lot of our guys that they, they buy online, and um, but I think you know you're gonna have to try. And I think the consultants, you know, they know exactly what you know uh, what they're selling to you or what yeah. they're actually trying to explain. Um, and also, they see so many people every day that it'd be much easier for them to actually realize what sort of skin they have and I think we're very good at you know sampling uh, at a clinic and we call you back after one week and we say how was your moisturizer do you want to try another one if it didn't work so oh, we always have that option as well um, but yeah I guess you know it's by by trying but also you know if you know that for example you produce more oil then obviously go for an oil targeted solution uh, or again a water base if you know that for example your skin is aging and you have to be you know true to yourself but to it then you use something a bit stronger you know an anti-aging so right. it, it is about kind of understanding what sort of and also it's about texture as well For so sure. um, because some guys might prefer lotion some guys might prefer a cream or some guys might prefer a gel so it depends also so what you like because they're actually for me um, yeah just changes the, the whole thing. I like it, I don't like it. You so know, don't, don't be like afraid that. to kind of go and speak to someone about it and kind of yeah. talk because I think often men are kind of a little bit nervous about going up to the counter. It seems mm. quite a female-owned space, but what we're saying is you should not exactly. go and go and talk, and your skin will look better as a consequence. Um, Gabs, I think it's time for us to wrap up. Thank you so much. Thank You've been you. Very informative. Right. I've learned a lot. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you. Thank so you much. so much. Thank you. Thanks.